Blessings everyone, it's that time again for my end of the year super sale. 30 minute consultations, normally priced at $77, are now only $55. Or you can get a certificate at the sale price and redeem it at a later date. Sale ends December 21st, so you want to take advantage of it while it's here. Go on ahead to my website, integrativemysticism.com. Hey there Aries, it's time to have a look and see what is going on with your third week of December 2020. And just a quick reminder for all of y'all out there, if you are watching your rising sign horoscope, remember your rising sign is going to be giving you clarity as to how a great deal of your sun sign horoscope is showing up. And your moon sign horoscope, well, that is going to be showing you the other story or the subplot that is going on this week. Don't forget my new light astrology this week was combined with the incoming waves to talk about the Sagittarius solar eclipse and a few other aspects and card pulls. If you're interested in that, again, go on ahead to my main channel page and just scroll down. It's all in the playlists that I have neatly organized. So let's talk about what's going on when it comes to your theme of this week. Your main theme of this week, you've got the five of pentacles upright. And this week is bringing you awareness of a lot of voids or even a lot of things that could be seen as dead ends when it comes to certain uh, connections, certain projects, or even life paths. And yes, this can kind of look like a little bit of a dismal card, but the thing about the Five of Pentacles is that it's also offering you an opportunity to actually invite in and bring solutions to where those dead ends are, but we have to be willing to accept new things, new people, new opportunities, as opposed to trying to extract maybe uh, goodness, abundance, fecundity, all of that kind of stuff from sources that don't have it to share, vibrate, or give. You know, it's one of those big lessons in spiritual maturity. Are you okay with moving on from something that's not giving you what you need or what is in the highest interest of our all concerned, right? Do we have the spiritual maturity to stop going back to the things that don't and expecting something else? This week with the Five of Pentacles, there's an opportunity to fill those voids, but it's going to require you to also allow, whether it's new people, new projects, new opportunities, new roads, to override and overwrite what you've walked into this week with. Now, some of these might be familiar, uh, but maybe from you know a different part of your life, again, bringing in a bit of a swap, some of these things might be completely brand new, but they will shake the, the paradigm you've been in uh, of late. As we get on to your personal responsibility card or what you are responsible for if you want to have the highest experience possible, well, you've got the Ten of Pentacles upright. And so your chief responsibility here is to be able to hone, craft, and maintain the environment that actually is the most supportive to all of your highest outcomes, whether it's your personal relationships, your abundance, all of that, right? The environment does matter. That includes social environment, spiritual environment, atmosphere, all of that kind of stuff. And so where do we need to be trading up, polishing up, not just cleaning your house, but also paying attention to what is coming in, what is going out, who, what, however, is contributing to that space, whether it's, again, a, a family thing, a romantic thing, a platonic thing, your work, you know, really tightening up and really reor you know, reorganizing the boundaries as well around your own environments, your own space. Because again, rapid improvement, rapid abundance, rapid evolution is promised with this card, but you've got to let go of any kind of lingering attachment or sympathy for something that might be un healthy or trying to redeem something that can't be blessed. And you know what I've said before, if it can't be blessed, it has to be released. As we get on to your material shifts, what's going on when it comes to your work, again, your finances, your material resources, your you know work prospects, all of that good stuff, you've got the Seven of Swords upright. You may actually be uncovering something uh, that has flown under the radar until this week with regards to maybe, um, I'm not sure if this is an account, 
uh, again, a team, a project, or maybe even a whole workforce, an employment situation, or something going on in your field that is going to prompt you to need to step back or maybe divest or pull a bit of your energies or resources out because it's not actually shaping up as promised. We are actually going through an opportunity to reverse or, you know, away from potential consequences from maybe buying into an illusion or something that has just been sort of a proposed reality experience here. Now, with that Seven of Swords, it's all about unstable effort. So it may also be wise for you to take your time, uh, you know, planning a good exit strategy or a divestment strategy or personal release and do it in a way that's as unobtrusive as possible, right? We want to do this in a discreet way, but allow ourselves to, of course, take our leave. That's the neighbor's dog. As we get on to your interpersonal relationships, well, we've got the Queen of Wands in reverse. And so, again, we talk about interpersonal relationships. So, yeah, your closest one-on-one -on -one connections. We are talking about romance, yes, but we're also including things like family and friends that are, you know, really tight, really involved. Now, with the Queen of Wands reversed here, I am seeing that there is going to be um, a, a moment of clarity where there, there does appear to be uh, some control being imposed on either your movements or your household or maybe even, um, you know, your own ability to kind of do the Ten of Pentacles health thing, you know, going into that improvements coming from within. And with the Queen of Wands reversed, in a lot of cases, it has to do with, um, again, a fear of loss of control on the part of whomever is doing it. But not only a fear of loss of control, but a lack of ability to understand what it means to actually do something and do it right. They, they may have been faking it this whole time. They may have been copying somebody else. But that control that is being imposed is also turning into um, kind of a low-key abuse. And that's kind of the, the, the phrase that just popped in. So when we talk about like a low-key abuse, is it a low-key abuse of power? Is it a low-key abuse of others? It might not be happening to you, but you might be watching somebody mistreating other people that you care about. This is a week where even with new people, we might be needing to pay attention. Okay, where are we attracting maybe some of this kind of, you know, bratty or, or abusive or unstable behavior? And how do we stop being a vibrational match for people embodying that archetype of character? As we get on to your personal shifts, what's going on with you. You've got the moon upright. And so if you haven't noticed, there's been this huge theme of sort of a, a funhouse mirror illusion kind of thing going on throughout this week. And with the moon card upright, you're starting to see complete truths, but you're also seeing where all of the lies or deceptions or distortions are as well. And with the moon, it's important to understand that when you're seeing things in a multifaceted way and you're seeing things, all everything that is coming to light, you have to acknowledge what you're paying attention to and know how to discern truth from not truth, but also at the same time, pay attention to where you may have been complicit in co-creating illusions so that you can dismantle them and get to that Ten of Pentacles experience as quickly as possible. So that's what I've got for you, Aries. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And should you ever want to get a session with me, go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com. Mm -hmm.